Okay, we have uh, a new one in. She's not really too new. This is Milo. Milo was with me as a little puppy. Not very old at all. Place. Come on. Place. Come on. Sit. She was with me as a little puppy. Uh, she's back again for now that she's a little older to do some more stuff with her. She is uh, basically has no manners now, and we have to work with her on that. Her socialization skills around other dogs are pretty bad. She's been uh, very harshly corrected by my other dogs about three times today, and uh, so she's starting to learn how to how to exist with a pack of dogs. And uh, so I'm just going to try, I'm just getting her on the leash because she pulls like crazy on the leash now. And uh, kind of just show you, I've got Athena back here and I want her to stay put while I'm walking Milo. And uh, I'm not going to be really too much on Milo, I just, I'm basically going to ignore her. She's going to do what she wants to do. I'm going to give her a little bit of guidance if she starts to get too crazy on the leash. I don't foresee that happening in here. That's why I start them off in here and not outside. Um, big thing with this kind of stuff, the jumping, the you're getting on the counters, the digging, all that kind of stuff. You have to set some boundaries very early when you have your dog at home. If everybody in the house is not on the same page, it will not work. So if one person in the house does not allow the jumping and they correct the jumping, chances are that person isn't going to get jumped on a whole lot. If somebody else sits down on the couch, they invite her up and let her lick the face and let her crawl all over them and jump on them, then there's, you really can't complain because the dog's getting rewarded for jumping by somebody. So, with me, like right now, she's... Sit. With me, she's very good. There's no... She's just sitting here calm. There's no excitement. There's no jumping, there's no nothing. Because right off the bat, I let her know that's not going to fly. Uh, I, give her, I give them zero attention if they try to jump. If they try to jump on me, if they're going crazy on the leash, I don't even really talk to them. I let my body language do most of the speaking. So that way, my voice isn't confusing them. I basically want them to follow my body language. Nope. Please. And uh, so I'm just gonna, we'll just get going here. I'm just gonna walk Athena or uh, Milo around. These dogs are both about the same age. So one thing you'll notice too in later videos is how much more developed Milo is uh, coordination wise than Athena. Different breeds and how they mature at such different rates. She's still really clumsy, like falls over and stuff still when she's running. Uh, Milo is like uh, almost like a fully developed little dog now, but they're about the same age, so it's just they're different, and you'll see that as these, this video series goes on. You probably saw there, Athena fell off the crate top. And that's what I'm talking about, her being clumsy. She still does stuff like that so where she doesn't know where her feet are. 
if Milo is up there, she's like precise like a cat. She's not going to just fall off. It's just a difference in how different breeds develop, which is pretty interesting at, this, at the same age as they are. Sit. How much? I literally have no idea why she just yelled. And if you notice, when she's walking, she's crowding on me. I'm going to show you what I do with that. Okay, so now that I said something she's not going to do it, I'll just show you what I would do anyways. So right now, as soon as they crowd me, I'm going to plant this foot and turn very fast right into it like that. This is a, that's a really good thing to do too if the dog's starting to pull ahead of you. Swing that leg around. Actually, uh, Larry Crone, another trainer on YouTube, showed me that and uh, it works fantastic. I've never seen it before and I tried it and it's awesome. Milo, uh, Athena did great, considering she's a five-month-old pup, being able to hold that. She doesn't want to at all. She's, uh, she's pretty, she wants to be involved, but that's doing this for her own good. I'm not being mean to her by making her stay there. I want her to be able to 
to control her urges and, and her reactions and, and uh, sit there comfortably in her own skin. So the, there's a look at both the pups, both the same age. And uh, I'm going to try to do a video with them outside tomorrow so you can really see the difference in their development and how they move as two different breeds at about the same age. It's, I kind of think it's interesting. So we'll see you later. Uh, stay tuned for the next one. And uh, toodles.